already cut this into the riser square. I'm going to put it into the mortise there and bring this front face of the skirt board out to the front of my riser. Now I'll go to the table saw and cut that 45. Got the first riser mitered. Fits tight here. Looks like it fits real well out here too. This is the time when you might want to adjust this skirt board this way for a good fit. You can see that the heel of the miter is open a little bit. That's so out here at the toe we'll have a nice tight fit too. I'm using a nail here for a drill bit, which works really well because it's just the right size. Before I go any further, I'm going to cut a tread to make sure all these parts will go together. I'm going to butt it into this face of the skirt, not into the mortise. Mark my length. Now I'll add a half inch for the mortise. That's where I'll make my cut. One more thing I have to do before I can test this fit. I have to nick this corner off here so I can get past this edge. Takes a little bit of fiddling to get it in there. Yeah, that fits great there. Okay, I'll fit this riser to this tread. There's my little nicked off corner again. I'll drop this thing into place as a unit. Yeah, when it's wedged, it'll be just right. Let's push the front into place. It doesn't seem to want to go. It must be hitting something in the back. It's loose here. Uh, it's hitting this carriage back here. Maybe something's out of square. Yep. We'll have to cut a little bit off with a chisel here to square this carriage up. Little adjustments like this are common. We'll probably have to do a little shimming and cutting on each step to make it work. Let's try this unit and see if it fits any better now. Yeah, that goes back there nicely and fits well against that carriage. Now we'll glue the first riser in place. Once again, I'm using construction adhesive on all my wood to wood joints. And be sure to use some on the miter. The nails I'm using here are six penny in pre-drilled holes. I need to wedge this bottom riser into place and I'm using yellow glue here. Now this is a tough one to wedge because you can't hammer from below. And the last thing I need to do here is a couple finish nails from the front to lock the joint. Once the bottom riser is in place, I can start assembling my treads and risers as a unit. And as a matter of fact, I have to do it this way because there are so many interlocking joints. Now it'll take a bit of wiggling to get this unit in place, but don't take too long or the yellow glue will start to set up. Now it's not critical that your miters meet perfectly, but you want to be close enough so that sandpaper can finish it off. Now these wedges are a little easier to put in because I can get at them with a hammer. And you're right, you don't need to use that much glue. The next thing to do is to fasten down the tread. Now this can be done with large finish nails, but I like to use screws. Later I'll plug them and they won't show. I'm going to put these glue blocks in place underneath. They'll meet the riser and the tread. You can't follow me under there, but I'll show you when we get a little higher. 
And the final step is to run some screws through the back of the riser into the tread.